What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, man. I'm Anthony TV. Look, do me a favor, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me, like this video, and drop a comment if you got a comment, man. You already know. I appreciate your support. Look, guys, today I'm actually getting ready to head back to the DMV, man. That's right. You know, if you've been following the channel, you already know. Um, I just added another endorsement a couple days ago to my CDL license. I got my uh, doubles and triples endorsement. Today I'm going to get my uh, tanker endorsement. I'm going to get tanker today. I mentioned, you know, in the last video I posted that, you know, I felt pretty good about it. It's about 10 minutes to eight. The DMV opens at 8.30. And usually, man, when you get to the DMV, you know, when they open up early morning hours, you're going to see uh, a line of people, man. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the case today, but it's all good. Um, we're going to take the test. We're going to pass it. Y'all going to be there to witness it. So stay tuned to the channel. I'll tap back in when I get to the DMV, man. Keep it locked. All right, guys, so we made it to the DMV. As you can see, like I said earlier, the line is wrapped around the building. I can't, even, you guys can't even see the front of the building, but you know, there's there's people all in the front side of the building too. So it's, it's wrapped around the building, man. So I'm gonna be waiting in my car. In the AC, it's too hot out there, man. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys for a little bit while I'm sitting here waiting. All right, guys, so like I mentioned, man, I'm sitting here waiting for the DMV to open up. I pretty much expected this long line to be here. I probably should have came a little bit later and just, you know, caught the back end when they started all walking in. Cause now I'm sitting in this AC, man. I can't be standing up outside in the line, but I'm burning gas. And you guys know what these gas prices look like right now. <laughs> but uh, it's all good, man. We here now. But yeah, man, we finna go ahead and get these tanker endorsements. And, um, Shout out to uh, Gemini Transport, man. Shout out to all the loves drivers out there. Look, man, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you have a Gemini terminal in your area, wherever you live, and you're in trucking, and you know, you're know you hauling fuel right now for another company outside of loves or Gemini Transport, I don't know what you're doing, man. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, man. Gemini Transport, from what I've heard from people that actually work for Gemini, that's probably the best fuel company, hands down, and it's not even close, um, in my opinion, from what I've seen. If you guys disagree with that, let me know in the comments, man. Um, we don't have any Gemini terminals where I live in my area, which sucks. I think the closest one is like three hours away in the Southeast region. Um, like I said, where I live and that, that'd that be in Montgomery, Alabama. If I'm wrong about that, if you work for Gemini and you in the Southeast, let me know. I'm in Florida, but I believe the closest one to my area is in um, is in Montgomery, Alabama. But if you have one close by you, and you have your you know tanker endorsement, I would highly recommend Gemini Transport. Look, you don't have to take my word for it, man. Go check out Dirty Broke Two Fifteen YouTube channel. Shout out to Dirty Broke. He actually drives for Gemini Transport Fuel, and. Um, just go check his channel out, man. A lot of great information on his channel. He bring on, you know, other uh, Gemini transport drivers on the channel from time to time. He even had guys on his channel that actually came from food service and, you know, switched over to Gemini, right? So it seems to be a good company, man. And he also has a recruiter that comes on from time to time and i really love that recruiter man she always provide a lot of great information man everything from the pay what you can expect you know at different terminals as a new driver coming in uh, the experience required she talk about the benefits 
pretty much everything you want to know about the company he has a video with her um you know and she she telling you she giving you all the information man she giving you all the information so like i said from everything i heard from her and even some of the you know drivers that work for gemini i watched all those videos man and um it seemed like an awesome company man you know obviously you know with with any company out there you're probably gonna find some pros and cons but from what i see in here it's definitely uh more pros than cons and you know some of the incentives i haven't heard too many companies where you can get you know a thirty thousand dollar bonus check <laughs> at you know what i'm saying besides gemini you know yeah they had a driver he was on this channel that was a driver that got a thirty thousand dollar bonus check for basically his tenure with the company i'm not sure if it was his uh i, I think he'd been there for a while because uh, I think at the five year mark, you get a percentage of your salary as a bonus check, which is a pretty hefty amount. And then you get another one, I believe at the 10 year mark, Dirty Broke, if you watch this video, man, you can um, you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but you know, like I said, you get some pretty hefty bonus checks, incentive checks for safe driving and things of that nature. And then being at the company for that length of time, at your fifth year mark 10 year mark and i'm not sure you know if it's any beyond that but yeah man he had a driver come on and he, he got a bonus check for like thirty thousand dollars man it was crazy you know some i seen some other guys come on and got like you know it was over ten thousand dollars i think 15 16 000, maybe it was seventeen thousand, something like that uh, but you guys get the point man that's just an incentive check that's not the paycheck that's just an extra additional check so the incentives they have that loves is amazing if you're a driver man you know like i said if you have a gemini transport where you live and you want to haul fuel i wouldn't be looking at no other company besides gemini transport <laughs> i'm just gonna be honest with you um so shout out to gemini man shout out to loves but yeah man we're gonna go ahead and get this tanker endorsement today and you know i should knock it out of park that would give me my tanker endorsement my doubles and triples endorsement and my hazmat endorsement so that'd give me three endorsements and you know i'm good i'm good to go after that that's really all the ones i i wanted and so yeah man that's what we doing today we got about 15 more minutes man and i'll be heading in y'all keep it locked there you have it guys you see it we got that tanker it's a wrap man I'm good. All right, guys. So you see it, man. We just wrapped it up. Just added that tanker endorsement to my CDLs, man. So I'm good now. You know, I got my doubles and triples, hazmat, and now tanker. I'm legit. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Like I was telling you guys in yesterday's video, all you have to do is study the CDL prep app on whatever uh, endorsement you want to get. And I promise you, if you study that app, you'll pass the test, man. It was two questions that I wasn't familiar with. The other question I missed, I was just going too fast. And when I missed it and I looked at it again, I was like, man, how did I miss that? <laughs> I was just moving too fast, just getting through it. But, you know, once you get 16 right, they automatically stop the test, you pass, and that's pretty much it. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, um, they basically give you about an hour to take the test. It's 20 questions, if I'm not mistaken. And um, once you get 16 right, they automatically stop the test. So you may not even have to go through all 20 questions. I missed three on this one, just like I did um, a couple days ago on my doubles and triples. But, um, you know, we got out of that with a pass, and it was good, man. And I'm not gonna lie, uh, as the clerk was handing me my license, she started calling out all my endorsements. And it was a gentleman next to me had just sat down. He was getting ready to take his uh, hazmat exam. And you know, when she handed me my license, she was like, congratulations, you got your doubles and triples, your hazmat, your tanker. And you know, it felt good to hear her, you know, say all that and she was loud too. So <laughs> it felt pretty good to hear her just call off all those endorsements like that. And uh, yeah, man, I'm good. So 
again guys if you want to you know make yourself more valuable in this trucking industry if you plan on being in the trucking industry for a minute or you know even if you're not planning on being in the truck industry for a minute it's still a good idea to go ahead and get your endorsements if you want to do something different in the trucking space and not just you know um limited to doing you know one thing in trucking a lot of different things in trucking that you can do and when you got those other endorsements you just have more options available to you all right so look man we're gonna get ready to get out of here so far my week been super productive i'm on vacation but i'm still out here taking care of business at the same time man i'm just not out here you know just chilling and having fun on my vacation man although you know that's probably what i need to be doing but you know i feel like getting those endorsements is something that i always wanted to do and now it's done and now i'll sit back and chill now that that work is done <laughs> you feel me so that's it man that's all i got for you guys today look do me a favor if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button for me like the video and drop a comment if you got a comment until next time i catch y'all on the next one man y'all take care